Hello everyone, welcome to Deco Arts Facebook Live. I'm Pla Schneider. And I'm Crimson Deval. And you know what next month is? National, National Craft, Craft Month. Month. So <laughs> we're totally getting you guys ready for National Craft Month. I hope everyone starts to get crafty. Um, I created this little set over here. It's for your craft room. It's super cute. I love Lazy Susans. So a double decker Lazy Susan, I love even more. It's super cute for stashing um, two ounce bottles. And you can fit quite a few on there. Um, so anyhow, I'm gonna get you started on, on how to create that one. As you can see, the Lazy Susan is wood. You could do this on plastic as well. Um, just make sure that, you know, you give it a little sand before you get started. Now, before I actually start to decoupage, I do want to tell you guys that today and tomorrow, we have 15% off of all of our decoupages. There's a few different formulas, you know, um, go to decoart.com and see which one is your favorite. I'm going to be working with our matte version today. So, the first thing you want to do is, you know, you're going to measure your surface and cut the paper accordingly. And I also wanted to give you a, a couple of little tips. One of them is, when it comes to selecting your scrapbook paper, if you want to make it easy, you know, get a little pad, and no matter which design you choose, it's going to go together, you guys. So everything that you see in, in this set here is all from the same pad, which is super cool, super easy. And I love that you're easy. using this because I'll see these in the stores, and I'll be like, I love this pad. And then... I won't know what to do with what it, so this is a great it? idea. Yeah, so we're talking about three different surfaces. You guys can work with what you have at home and get creative. Um, okay, so we are going to start decoupaging. Um, I did want to mention that I cut the paper ever so slightly than the surface because once it's saturated, it does expand a little bit. So I'm going to be pretty generous with the decoupage. And if you guys haven't used Americana decoupage, it's awesome. It does not dry tacky. It, it's super durable. It's super easy to use. So there's a little bit on there. And then I'm also going to brush a little bit on the back of the scrapbook paper. And you almost can't go wrong with decoupage. Right. You, uh, you're right. Like you do not have to be an artist to decoupage, right? And, and I love that you have transformed these various objects into a set of something that you can use. Yeah, and it makes it totally cohesive. I love it. So, I, I also decoupage both, you know, the surface and the paper because if, if it's not placed quite right, mm -hmm. you can you can move it. Yeah. Now, once you start brushing over the top, you're going to go from the center out. This will remove any bubbles. Uh, if there's any excess decoupage mm -hmm. in there, it's going to get rid of that. I'll just go quickly all around. And it's going to dry, um, of course, clear. And another thing that I love about Americana decoupage is that it levels nicely. Mm -hmm. So all these brush strokes that you see now um, will disappear. And a, a one inch flat brush is perfect for this size project. You know, and it's a good project for the kiddos too because, yeah. like I said, we can't really mess anything up. Okay, so after you have that part on see this one is very ornate right but on this next one that i'm going to be doing in my next spanish video this one is you know a little bit simpler i would go in and you know as i've done here cut out some of the elements again from the same decoupage and after your first layer is down you can just decoupage more pieces on i love that Thank That's you. So, <laughs> so after, of course, you would paint, you know, the dowels as well. After everything has dried, that's the best time, to, you know, to go ahead and put it together. And this is optional, but I think it's super cute. You can add little pom-poms yeah. around the perimeter. I love that. Thank you. And Crimson also has a crafty project for us today. I had this, um, just a wooden wine box, and it opens, and I added a handle. But I had an atlas, and I thought I would make a on-the-go art box. And it fits our our little paint cups in there perfectly. So I'm going to show you the little side cup that would hold your, your pencils later. Like that. I'm just going to show you what I did with mine. It's the same basic idea with the, the decoupage. Same way. 
paint on. Well, first I would cut it to the size that you want it, unless you want it to wrap around. But I cut it to the size. And the good thing, this is an old atlas, but you can use maps or really what's great about decoupage is that you can use any material, napkins, paper, anything that you like and you want to add to sort of surface. It's great. So I press it out with my hands a little bit. And that same idea with starting from the middle and paint it out. And it's so fast too. Yeah, can you it imagine really is. painting that? <laughs> <laughs> you need a magnifying glass, right. a super steady hand, and about a hundred hours. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to go over that real quick, but I'm going to show you how I did my fast little um, wood grain texture here. It's super easy. I'll just go ahead and do that. So I take the paint, and this is a, a terracotta color. It's nice for wood grain, and it matches with the atlas pretty good. So you just do a brush stroke. Pretty thick. And you just draw into it with the edge of your paintbrush. With one tool. Like with one yeah. paintbrush, you're doing both the painting and the wood grain. Now, obviously, I could layer the paint. And if I wanted a different color under the wood grain, I yeah. could do that as well. And then if I wanted it to be sharper, I can use a more pointy end of a paintbrush. That's basically it. It's really fast, but it's really fun to do. And then if you mess up and you're like, oh, that looks not like I wanted it to, you can just go back over it and redo it. As long as it's still wet, yeah. Yeah. And then, like I said, if, if it does dry on you, then you can just go over it with another color of paint. Well, I just love that box. Can we see what's inside? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's an on-the-go art box. So I made this to kind of go in there. Yeah. And it does fit quite and, a bit. Yeah, you it? can fit paper. You can roll it paper. You can have a little picnic. <laughs> One more thing I wanted to mention, um, a little tip that I forgot to mention. The larger your scrapbook paper, whatever paper you're using, it's a good idea to just get a spray mister and spray the back with water. Oh. That will make it more flexible and easier for it to lay flat and for you to manipulate it. That's probably good because the scrapbook paper is a little thicker. Yes, this one is paper. a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. And also, I mentioned that on this one, you did not have to paint the entire surface. Mm -hmm. But if your paper is transparent or very, mm -hmm. very thin, you are gonna wanna base it right. in a lighter yeah. color. Of course. Okay, everyone, so remember, today and tomorrow, 15% off of all of our deco pages. Visit decoart.com for more ideas, and we hope to see you here next time. Get Happy crafting! crafting. Yeah. <laughs> Bye! Bye.